Welcome to Anywhere Math, I'm Jeff Jacobson, and on today's video, we are gonna talk about some tips on how to make the most out of the newest version of Play Posit. Let's get started. So obviously the first thing you're gonna do is go to uh, the website, go.playposit.com. And the first thing you're gonna have to do obviously is log in. Your login is gonna depend on your school and what your teacher has set up for you. Once you have signed in, the first thing you should do is make sure you're in the right class. If your teacher has set up classes, you should see your class up here at the top. Once you know you're in the right spot, um, then you should be able to see the bulbs that have been assigned. And those are just the video assignments that uh, your teacher has made for you and has assigned. So you can see all of those here. Once you have clicked on the assignment or what PlayPosit calls a bulb, uh, let's talk about what that's actually going to look like. So I'm going to click and play the video. Variables, coefficients, and constants, oh my! Alright, so first, the most important thing is obviously you can Pause the video whenever you need to. You can play it uh, when you're ready. Um, and then let's talk about a couple of these other buttons. So the first one is really important right here. If you click this button, you're gonna get some, some different things that come up. First is it's gonna tell you the name of the bulb, which is important to make sure you're on the right one. Next is gonna tell you uh, the progress, how much of the video you've actually watched, um, you can also see down here questions that uh, you may have answered um, and you kind of get uh, an overview of how long the bulb actually is right here. Another nice feature is that if this view is not big enough for you, you can click this and, and make it a lot bigger, um, which, is, which can be very nice. We can minimize it again. When you want to get rid of this, you're not really, you don't really care. Uh, just click this again and it'll go away and then you've got your full screen uh, for the video and obviously it's really important that when you're watching the video variables so uh, and you want to take some notes pause the video write the things down and then go ahead and start again also if you miss something you can click this button which just takes the video back 10 seconds uh, so that can be nice if you just miss something real quick now I want to show you um, you can see here I can that before fast if you've forward, got something like, but not all videos or, see that I or bulbs color will let you do here. that. So what I want to show you right now is some controls that, from a, a teacher's point of view, what they have on their videos. This is what teachers have available. So you can see that I have allowed uh, my students to rewind um, after they get to a question. So I want my students to be able to go back if they get to a question and they don't really know how to answer it, they can rewind the video and, and help uh, learn to figure it out. Um, I have not allowed my students to skip those interactions. I want them to answer all the questions. Uh, even if they don't know, I want them to, to try and take a guess and, and see how they do. Um, I allow my, my students to fast forward the videos. Some teachers may not uh, select this. So if you're not able to click ahead and fast forward, that's because this is turned off. I also allow them to retake the bulb after they finish. If students, you know, go through the video and they get a lot of the questions wrong, uh, I want them to have the option to go back and, and try it again and, and do better. So now back to the video, I am going to keep playing. Of a term, right, one of the parts that contains a variable. And if you notice, down here, I cannot go farther than this point right here. And so I'm going to show you why. Variable. Well, the only thing next to a variable, right, that's the constant. It stays 13 no matter what. Okay. Here's some to try on your own. So the reason, if you see in that top right corner, it just, it just said that uh, you have to complete these before you can move on. I want the students to to answer all the questions before they move on. So you can see right here, I've got some questions in the video, and then I've got a um, just kind of a short answer where they're gonna need to type their answers to each problem. So this is where they're gonna put the answers to number one. So for example, for number one, it says identify the terms, coefficients, and constants in the expressions. So for number one, I'm only entering my answer for this first one. 
So that is my answer for number one, and I'm gonna click Submit. Now I'm ready to go. You'll notice that I don't get a score here, and it says Grade Pending. That's because for a short answer like this, where you actually have to type the answer, you won't know your score until your teacher has graded it. So when I grade uh, this the assignments, then you'll actually get a score on that, and the teacher decides if you got it right or wrong. So then I'm gonna continue, and then all of a sudden, number two pops up. I'm gonna enter my answer for number two. So here we go, I'm gonna do the same term. And if you notice, for one half, now obviously I could kind of be lazy and just do one half like that, which is fine. But if I want, I can click on rich text. Now this gives me a whole bunch of options. I could enter in an image for my answer if I wanted to. I could, I could say some audio. Um, but the one for math that we're gonna use a lot is right here. So insert equation. So if I click on that, now I have all of these different options on uh, things that I can enter that will look more like, uh, like what it does in math. So for me, I wanna do one half. Right here is what I'm gonna to use to enter in a fraction. So I'm gonna click on that, and it takes a little bit to get used to, but hopefully you can see right here and right here, if I put a one there and a two there, you can see now the preview. That is what I need to do to make one half. And then look at that. I've got exactly what that fraction wants to look like. So then I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. So now I have my answer ready to enter for number two and I used the rich text to help make those fractions so it looks even better. And submit. Submitted. It's not graded yet. It will be hopefully soon. Continue. So now you can see if I go back uh, to here, I can see number one, I've answered. Number two, I've answered. Now I'm on number three. Let me go back here and I'm going to use rich text again. Terms for rich text, I want to do for number three, I want to do z squared. So I'm going to go here, my base is z, my exponent is 2, there it is, z squared, okay. Whoops, that's in the wrong spot, so I'll just drag it over, space, comma, and 9z. I got my answers already for number 3, it says number 3 there, so submit, and I'm ready to go. And now. If I click continue, because I answered those three questions, now Example two, I can move on. Simplify the expression. So I have 1.5 times and h you, times h times. If you notice, there's another point here, and that's another set of interactions or, or questions. So I can't fast forward past that. I can come up here. I'll get right to it. And you can see at the eight minute mark. Good. Here's some more to try on your own. Now you can see I have another uh, set of interactions. This is for number four and number five. Again, if you can't see everything that you want, just do that. Make it full screen. Go back to it. If I look here, uh, here's my progress so far. I've answered the first three interactions. Here's number four, and you can notice that this symbol is different than this. That's because this is a multiple choice interaction or question, and this was just kind of a short answer. So let's see what happens when I actually enter in my answer uh, for number four on a multiple choice. So I'm gonna go back here. Number four, so that's gonna be j to the sixth power. There it is, submit, and I'm right. Um, so with multiple choice, if your teacher has actually entered in the, the correct answer, you will get to see right away if you got it right or wrong. So that's great, I got it right. Continue. Number 13 pops up. Let's see. Let's say I get this one wrong. Okay, so I'm doing this on purpose. Don't freak out. 
let's say I do the subtraction before the division. So 30 minus 24 is 6, and then I do 6 divided by 6, and I think the answer is 1. I know it's not 1, but I'm just going to show you what happens. I'll click it, submit. The answer was wrong. Now, you'll notice that there's a little note here, and that's something that I've typed in if someone got the wrong answer. And I said, remember the order of operations. That's kind of a little hint. Um, I got zero out of one points because I got it wrong. If a teacher did not enter in a hint there, you're not going to see anything. It's just going to say incorrect. But I got to go continue. I can't change my answer right now, but we'll show what can happen at the end. Continue. I can see I'm still in progress. The video, all my answers so far, I got these right. That one was wrong. These ones still have to be graded, so I'll continue As the always, video. always, if you like this video, please subscribe. And I want to make sure I go all the way to the end, because I'll show you what happens. Okay, so it's really important to make sure you go all the way to the end. You'll see, you saw up there, it said bulb complete. Here is a review of everything I've done. I've got the check mark that says complete. If I close down before I got to the end, it's not going to tell me that it's complete. It also says three of the nine interactions are going to be graded by your instructor, which is your teacher. That's these questions. Um, and so that's really important. That's going to say that it's been completed. Now, on this, you'll see that it doesn't give you, it doesn't give me the option because I'm a teacher to redo it. But on yours, you might see something that looks a little different. So for example, on your uh, view as a student, you might see something that looks like this. You've completed it, it's all done, you can return your course. It also might have the option to retry the bulb. So if you got a lot of questions wrong, that might be a good option. Now also, you can see on this one, the teacher has already graded them. So this student got three out of three on the first question. They only got one out of three on the second and zero one out of three on the third question. So when you are finished, make sure you click finish and exit. Or if you would like to retry, you can retry it. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please subscribe.